How is Palpatine alive? A lot of different theories, a lot of different things we can pull from legends, from canon, everywhere. In this video, I'm going to pull from all of them. So, one of the ways that he could have survived is essence transfer. You've heard me talk about this a million times uh, in different videos leading up to the Rise of Skywalker. In the Legends comics, Palpatine tried to use essence transfer and he succeeded. He created clones of himself where he transferred his consciousness into these different clones and kind of lived through each vessel. As each one died, he bounced to the next one. He just kind of body hopped sort of on his own bodies, on his own clones. The problem with this is that is cloning a force sensitive is extremely, extremely difficult and it's next to impossible as we've learned in Legends as well. So if we're taking Legends content, we're going to use Legends content to kind of uh, rebuke it or refute it or, or support it. Um, another possible way is that the Darth Sidious that we saw in Return of the Jedi was a clone that Palpatine anticipated Vader would, uh, you know, betray him and turn back to the light and kill him to save his son because knowing the bond is so strong between the two, just like he says in you know, Rise of Skywalker, that the bond between those two is so strong and the only family that Rey has here is him. And so their bond is very strong as well. So it's possible that he could have created a clone there, but that doesn't explain why he looks so decrepit and messed up and as to why he says in Rise of Skywalker, I've died before. Very simple, because he's died before, because Anakin actually beat him, killed him. So fulfilling the prophecy. However, there's a bit of a caveat to that, because he's back. So um, That being said, Palpatine was extremely powerful. He was extremely resourceful. He was a big proponent of reading ancient Sith texts and lore and hol uh, holocrons and everything, holograms, holocrons and everything like that and in between. This is why he was so smart and powerful, and he knew a lot about Sith magic. Okay. Finally, now we lead to the real answer, which I believe was alluded in the canon comics with Kylo Ren and Snoke. Now that we know Snoke was really created by Palpatine, as we saw and heard him say in The Rise of Skywalker, and we even see the, the tanks where uh, Snoke is being created. Uh, we see like different vats of him. There's like two in one, like it's just like being cloned, being made. This is so Palpatine can control him. Now, his backstory, of course, we're going to learn about more. We also learned that in the comic that came out yesterday, the canon Kylo comic, that Luke actually injured Snoke quite a bit because Kylo even says to him, after what Luke Skywalker did to you, etc., etc. Um, so, moving forwards, in the comic that I covered a little while ago, this was about a month or two ago, Snoke, Palpatine, oops, Palpatine really, and he basically trains Kylo by pushing him off this giant cliff. Kylo, at the very last second, and Kylo is much younger here, this is before the Force Awakens, Kylo is levitating above the ground. There are spikes and everything like that. He's levitating. And Snoke says to him something along the lines, of, I'm going to put it right here, but Snoke says to him, Are you afraid? No, says Kylo. As Snoke holds him in midair, Yes, you are. I can feel it. And you should be scared, Kylo Ren. You are not in control. You are confused, unsure of your convictions filled with doubt. You feel powerless. As Snoke tells him that powerful beings can harness their rage very easily if they so wish, he tells him that he must use it to strike, for either you strike or you fall. And with that, he lets go of the Force and Kylo falls to his death. As Snoke tells him to use his fear to let it crystallize into anger, to turn that anger into power, Kylo begins to float off the ground using the Force. This is a really cool Force power that shows just how Force users can survive massive falls without a single injury. When Kylo asks Snoke if he would have caught him had he not been able to save himself, Snoke tells him that Skywalker would have, which is why he was holding him back. Snoke tells him that if you are to rule at my side, I can't have you defeated by heights, which I think is a really cool line. As they get into Snoke's ship, he tells Kylo that he's taking him somewhere this else. This leads me to believe that this is something that Snoke obviously taught Kylo, because he trained him for it, otherwise why would he push him off the thing, off the cliff? And therefore alludes to the fact that Palpatine died in the same died in the same way where he fell off a giant cliff, really, the, the reactor shaft, the shaft in his throne room. He fell down that. 
he may have hit the way you know the the, the walls on the way down and everything like that that's possible just like maul did that's why maul's face looks all broken his nose is broken as ray park has said himself so he could have died from that he could have been pretty banged up and broken and beaten up from that but as for saving himself from the splat from the splatter it's possible that he did that same maneuver that he taught Kylo through Snoke to just levitate and stop himself from being smushed to the ground. So that is how I think that possibly these are the different ways that Palpatine could have come back. Now, the fact that he says he died really means that he died. And he looks dead. I mean, the guy looks like a horror movie. He looks like the the the, the lady from The Nun, really. He looks like they could be, you know, like, siblings or lovers or something like that so what i'm thinking going forwards here is they will reveal his backstory on how he survived in either a show or a movie or something of some sorts because palpatine is such a huge character that you know obviously they're going to want to create content on that and tap on that because everyone really cares and they're interested and invested and there's so much lore and so much story to go there with him same with snow uh, same with uh, kylo and snoke too all of those guys. You can create a whole show on them. And there there have been rumors that they're thinking of creating a Kylo Ren spin-off show where he's much younger and, you know, with Luke and all the stuff and his turn and all that stuff. So I would be very excited to see that. I think that would be amazing. I think I think the whole show thing on Disney Plus, I think that has huge potential because it's great money for them and it'll make them want to make more content for us with shows and things like that because The Mandalorian is a huge hit. Um and the subscription service obviously is a is a massive thing. I mean, think about it. You know, hundred million Star Wars fans, let's say, at uh, eight bucks a month or whatever, eight hundred million dollars a month. Thanks very much. That's that's pretty good, right? So I could see them really milking it, pumping it out, which I'd be totally fine with as long as they do it right. Um, other ways that he could have survived, I don't really see anything that would be plausible. Anything after this would kind of just be laughable. Right. So the essence transfer, the cloning, uh, we even see it in in the film. Uh, one of the rebel rebel fighters or um, resistance fighters says, and this is the guy who played in uh, Lord of the Rings. I forgot his name, Pippin or something. Pip. He says that he doesn't know how Palpatine survived. No one knows. He says, oh, cloning, you know, uh, some ancient Sith way, Sith knowledge, Sith power, magic, some sort of way that Palpatine could have survived, which is very true. Palpatine knew a lot about magic. And in episode three, he even flat out says to us, he knows how to cheat death, right? He learned from his master, from Plagueis. So that's how I think Palpatine survived. These three different plausible scenarios, uh, how he was revived. Well, I mean, at Star Wars, you can heal uh, with, with mechanisms and technology and things like that. I mean, look what they did with Vader, right? He was a cyborg pretty much. Look what they did with Grievous. He was just a couple of organs, and, you know, uh, eyes and a brain and a heart and a couple organs that was it the rest was cyborg so not to mention palpatine had such an access to everything in the galaxy so it's really not hard to believe that he would have survived as for it undermining anakin's arc well i've made a video on that by itself so you can go watch that and check it out as for this one i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments how did he survive is it lame that he survived are you a fan of it? are you not a fan of it personally He's a very powerful character, and he's done it in Legends, so sure, it makes sense to me. I mean, it really just feels like now that they're done the Skywalker saga, um, they're going to really start making their own films now, and I think that was the point of it, was to end it. But uh, I, I like the movie, you know? I like the movie. I thought it was a good ending to the sequels, to the whole saga. Eh, unnecessary, but... It happened, and it's it's cool. We got another set of stories. Um, you know, if I ever have a daughter one day, I want her to look up to Ray and 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 want to be like that. But also for her to understand that you need to train, and not everything's gonna come easy to you. So it was unnecessary, but it's cool. I'm down with it. The way it ended was good. It, a lot of it retconned the Last Jedi, and uh, and now we're getting even more off topic. So let me know what you think. How Palpatine could have come back, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. May the Force be with you. <laughs>